internet, welcome to Game Theory. And today we are going to talk about one of the longest standing questions in the Soul Knight community. And that is, who is the mysterious figure in Soul Knight's main screen? And in order to answer this question in the most objective way possible, I have spent hours rewatching all the episodes of Soul Knight Strange Tales 1 and Soul Knight Strange Tales 2. I also reviewed the whole lore of Soul Knight prequel and gained some insights from the Soul Knight Wiki, Soul Knight subreddit, and Soul Knight Facebook groups. And now, let's start with the most obvious options. At first look, without batting an eyelash and thinking deeper, the first figure that will come to your mind is either Knight or Assassin. Going through many iterations of Soul Knight logo, you will be more and more convinced that this is Knight, especially with the latest logo. The mysterious figure has a round head and have two guns. But many might argue that the figure in the main screen have red scarf. And in the game, only two characters have a scarf, with Knight having an orange one and Assassin having a red one. But if we look at the character portrait, no matter how orange the Knight scarf is in the game sprite, his portrait shows that he has a red scarf, just like Assassin. And to make matters a lot more complicated, there's also some people who believe that this mysterious figure is Paladin. Because aside from the round head and red scarf, there's also the third characteristic, which is having blue eyes. And if we assume that the mysterious figure in Soul Knight logo is also the mysterious figure in Soul Knight prequel logo, Paladin will be a great candidate to consider, with his blue eyes, yellow armor trimming, and shield. So, let's have a recap. Let's call this mysterious figure the Soul Knight. The Soul Knight have blue eyes, red scarf, and a rounded head. But each of these characteristics are distributed among different characters. Even though the latest logo of the game shows a silhouette looking like Knight with dual wield, this figure is most likely not the Knight, because there's no Knight skin that look like that. It is most likely a Knight from the new season mode, which has a greater resemblance. Even though they don't hold guns, the guns might be a metaphorical representation of the new mode. So I think that we can't conclude yet who the Soul Knight is. Chill Room might even throw a curveball at us and give us a Soul Knight legendary character just like in this fun hero idea. But let's disregard all the other considerations and assume that this figure is in fact the Knight. But the questions won't end there. And in fact, we will even have more questions. Like, who is this knight? Is the Soul Knight prequel in the same universe as Soul Knight? Is the knight in Soul Knight the same with the knight in the Soul Knight prequel? To answer these questions, we need to examine 38 episodes of Soul Knight Strange Tales 1 and 2 and review the lore of Soul Knight prequel. At first, we all believe that the Soul Knight prequel is the story before the foundation of Soul Knight. But some character dialogues and backstories doesn't add up to this. Like for example, the dialogues of Warlich. He is from the Soul Knight prequel. But all his dialogues point out that the Soul Knight universe is in fact a different universe. Soul Knight Strange Tales 2 also shows that there's two different Soul Knight universes. Soul Knight Strange Tales 1 refers to the Soul Knight game, while Soul Knight Strange Tales 2 refers to the Soul Knight prequel story. And these events give us two knights, the knight from the Soul Knight in Soul Knight Strange Tales 1 and the knight from the Soul Knight prequel and the Soul Knight Strange Tales 2. The first knight is from the real world and is the chosen knight. While the second knight is Aaron, a hero from the Soul Knight prequel universe. We can see this footage from Soul Knight Strange Tales 2, where they face off 
and we can see that Aaron has the knight outfit matching with red scarf. So, is he really the one that we are looking for? Will this video end here? I think the answer here is yes, but only for the mysterious figure from the Soul Knight prequel logo. Because as you see, Soul Knight prequel does not revolve around you. It revolves around the adventures of Aaron and May. And sadly, you are just the third wheel. Aaron is the main character of that game, proven by the amount of dialogues that he have. So Aaron is the logo for the Soul Knight prequel, but it don't make any sense if he will also be the mysterious figure in Soul Knight, long before he even exists. So let's go back to our question, who is this mysterious figure? And you won't believe how close we are to the actual evidence, it's literally some centimeters away. The game title itself is our biggest clue. We can see here that there is two letters that is highlighted, it is the U and the I. It's a way of saying that Soul Knight won't exist without you, the player, and without I which refers to the game itself. And you, yourself, will become the soul of each knights or characters whenever you play the game. The devs even directly address us as Soul Knights when they send us mails. Soul Knight Strange Tales 1 even shows us a metaphor that playing Soul Knight is our escape from reality, and our soul can freely choose between the knights in the lobby for us to enjoy. And I think that this figure have mixed characteristics like red scarf, blue eyes, and round head because it symbolizes multiple characters that you can play. And lastly, it doesn't have a face because it is you that have the freedom to give it its own character and playstyle. But hey, that's just a Shuri. Again, Shuri.